have you enjoyed just the messages that you get from the fans now through social media and um, you know, what's, what kind of stories do they tell you just about you being in that home? I hear stories from people about how it touched their lives. It gave them when they were a teenager, it gave them uh, um, strength. They somehow related to me, the character. They found me to be uh, very strong and um, uh, inventive in how to save myself. So the stories are that they were going through a tough time in junior high and high school. Uh, some of them were gay coming out and bullied. So I do get so many messages from guys and girls who were bullied or who don't have self-esteem. And I talk to them about that. I, I've talked to a lot of people about that because that's very important. One thing I never lost was my self-esteem. I had a lot of stuff happen to me in life and in business, especially Hollywood. But you can't ever lose your self-esteem. You have to believe in yourself because you're going to meet people all the time to tell you you can't do it. You can't do it. No, we won't let you do that. And you just have to pick up and, and keep trying. I'm so glad you brought that up because I find I was going to bring it up. A lot of the LGBTQ community connect with yeah. these films. Myself. And I didn't know that. I found that out over the last, let's say, 20, 15 years. Yeah. And myself included, I think there's something about, like you said, your character had strength and mm -hmm. there's something about overcoming adversity, even mm -hmm. though these films to people sometimes feel like, oh, it's just an 80s slasher flick. Mm -hmm. People who go through like self-esteem issues and struggles, especially when coming out, yeah. there is something parallel with identifying with the survivor right. that people don't always get if you're not, you know, so right. I, I, I connect with that. It's interesting the number of people that do connect with a survivor because I have seen in the convention show circuit that they are mostly drawn to the killer or the victims, not the survivor, but the fans, a lot of the fans bond with the survivor, but it's separate, it's, it's, it's two teams, it's a very weird thing. The, the killers and the victims are very, very, very popular and good for them. The survivor isn't quite as popular, but the ones that she's popular with are people who have been through all kinds of adversity. And I like that. 